up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys we're gonna be putting shards today um i wasn't going to i was just gonna burn mystery shards but it takes ages and it hurts my thumbs so i didn't want to do that so we are going to be putting ancient shards and two people in my cluster just popped off today one of them pulled three legendaries in 30 shards and then one of them pulled three legendaries in one temple which is absolutely insane so hopefully we get some of that luck today i'm also going to pull a prism shard and then what have we got saved up so um i was holding out uh for this dude so we're going to pull him today just to help with champion chase and we've also got uh Zinagrir, sin waiting to be summoned so i'm going to summon her as well and i just want to have a look at the um champion chase tournament as well so some pretty nice rewards up for grabs. The fusion fragments aren't too difficult to get, so you should easily get both of those. Want to make sure we get both legendary books as well. Not too bothered about the Eternal Soul Stone or the Soul Coin either. But if you look at your groups, like I just don't understand the point of this Aislinn five stars souls up for grabs. Like, Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm so sure Polarium said he was going to be a limited time champion. And it's like, if you don't get him... You're just wasting these like five perfect souls just sitting. I guess you could sell them. But even then, I'm just like, what a waste. What an absolute waste. So let's go for it, guys. And fingers crossed we get something nice and juicy. Good luck to everyone out there. Oh, legendary straight off the bat. And it's Aislinn. Wow. All right. You know, I was not expecting to get this guy. Um... Like, he's actually so solid. Like, you look at his kit. I love the kit. Um, and just when you put up more Banner Lord Champions, he just gets stronger and stronger. So just quickly go for his kit. So we'll talk about everything. So obviously, the more champions you have, the better the skills get. Um, so passive, um, allies under shield buffs receive 10% less damage. If they're multiple champions on the team with this skill, only one will activate. So this is really nice. This is similar to what Duchess does and also Pytheon. So if you can put those in the team as well, that is going to mitigate so much damage. Um, then if we got two Banner Lords, um, we're going to be immune to stun, free, sleep, provoke, fear, true fear, and petrification. Uh, then we got a third champion in the team from uh, Banner Lords. Get yeah, ally protection buff as well. No, sorry. We're going to have a 20% chance of counter attack with ally protection, and that is built into his kit. And then the value of this shield buff is increased by 100%. I mean, that is just huge. That is insane. So his A3, and it's only his A3 where everything sort of happens, as well as the passive. But yeah, so A3, place a shield buff equal to 30% of this champion's max HP um, and all allies for two turns. So obviously, we want to make him as tanky as possible, loads and loads of HP, and has a 50%, uh, sorry, and places... The big boy version of ally protection buff on all allies except this champion for two turns instantly activates this skill whenever an ally is revived so if we've got a reviver on the team that is going to be insane um, also places block damage buff on this champion for two turns this is great so what how this works is um sand slash loves this as well and basically he's going to be for our ally protection soak all that damage and then block the damage as well it just it's really really difficult to kill um, so I'd probably make him really slow as well. So maybe about 200 speed. So 200 speed, loads of HP, and then you are going to get so much utility out of this because you're just going to sit on that block damage buff for ages. And then if we've got four champions from Banner Lords, then they are protected buffs, which is just the icing on cake. So, so strong. Uh, then he's got a bit of healing as well. Um, but yeah, but those are like the main two of his skill. And to me, he just screams Hydra champion. Wow. I mean, boys, I was not expecting that. So hyped. You know, let's let's just go for a prism shard pull as well. Let's just mix it up and see what happens. But yeah, was not expecting that off the bat. Oh, and then Ulfrig, who is just he just like he looks like a starter champion in WoW. Um, but yeah, just sort of average. Just 
Very, very mediocre. Nothing, nothing too hyped to get. But, oh, God, guys, I can't get over it. I was not expecting to get Ace Lin. But yeah, all right, let's keep going. Hopefully, we can get another legendary. You never, never know. Okay, no one too good apart from the crowned. He's pretty decent. Woo! Sorry, guys. Oh, what a high. What a high. Skull Crusher, one of the only three champions that does AoE counterattack. Um, absolute beast for Clan Boss. Also good for like loads of other content in general. But um, yeah, Clan Boss is where he shines. Okay, rare tax. Not loving the blues. Alika is actually really solid. A really underrated champion. Uh, really good. Wait, I'll just make sure she's the right one. Yeah, yeah. She's really good for uh, live arena. Uh, catches off a lot of people with an A3. Putting uh, skills on cooldown. And you just need to have enough accuracy to put their, their nuka on a uh, cooldown so you don't have to you know put the rest of the squad down okay looks like rare attacks again how many shards have we got 15 okay i'm gonna pop all my shards i'm just gonna make space i just realized we're a little bit low lady makage you can go into the vault all right there we go guys whoa do you think? Oh, okay, that's that's not a good sign. And bust. Okay, let's just go five more. Got ye. Okay, rare. Another rare. Another rare. Wow. Okay. I it's not going to happen, guys. I think that's pretty much it. But we're going to check check the uh, Champion Chase Tournament, see where we are. And, you know, I've got a few aces up my sleeve, so I can try and push up a little bit further. Wow. I kind of regret about slagging off the, uh, the Perfect Souls. That'd be very nice, actually. I wouldn't mind them at all. Um, but, yeah, probably... I don't think we're going to be in first place yet. I mean, we'd even get the book. But yeah, I, I will pull Zinegre. Um, I did get the um, five-star souls for her, so yeah. But oh, man, we're going to miss out on the Aislinn perfect souls. Oh, I just don't really have any way that I can really push up. Um, I just don't feel like he's a good, solid champion, but I would have to probably burn... I've got one, two, three, four, five champions. And yeah, I don't think it'll be enough. Like, yeah, it's a hard skip for me. Like, I just, I'd rather keep those in the back pocket and pull them where I need them. But yeah, wow, guys. Like, seriously, what a pull. Um, seriously, guys, good luck with all your pulls. Hopefully, you get Aislinn. I was really not expecting it. It's so rare that I ever get, like, a 10 pull. So... You never know. But yeah, good luck, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in the video soon. Peace.